thank you, Amanda, for joining together. We are looking forward to a Republican ticket moving full steam ahead to November for the next five years. Okay, thank you and your family for agreeing to run with us. We are going to run this race that Kansas wants, needs, and deserves, and we are going to win this thing. So tonight it's official, and it's my honor to join the ranks of those very few Kansans who have had the privilege of carrying the nomination of our Republican Party for governor of this state. Yeah. Believe me, I am humbled and I am very mindful of the trust that all of you and so many Kansans have placed in us, and we will not let you down. As a fifth generation Southeast Kansan, it brings me particular personal pride to be the first son of my hometown of Independence, Kansas, to carry this nomination since Alf Landon carried it to victory in 1934. We have a lot of friends in this room, and you know that as your Attorney General for these past years, I have stood up for you time and again against the illegal big government overreach of the Obama and now the Biden administrations. I've stood before the Supreme Court of the United States on your behalf, and we've won. And I've sat... Thank you. broken-hearted Kansas families, comforted, abused children, and ached inside at the cruel mistreatment of the elderly and of the innocent. But through it all, I have cherished every single day of being able to lead this important public office, your Attorney General's office, which I soon will hand off to my successor in better shape than I found it. Amen. <laughs> every one of you for the privilege of having been able to serve as your Attorney General. Now, I want to serve as your Governor, because Kansas can do so much better. Kansas needs a new Governor. Yeah. One who didn't hurt our kids by rushing to lock them out of school. That's right. yeah. One who won't have us trailing far behind the nation in recovering jobs from her lockdowns. Yeah. Yeah. And one who never again will lose $700 million to unemployment fraud while utterly failing to help thousands of Kansans who are out of work and in desperate. Yeah. faster than growing our government, who will champion religious liberty, defend our freedoms, keep us safe from crime and deadly drugs, respect life, put students and parents first in our education system so we can better prepare more of our kids for careers here in Kansas, continually improve election integrity, advocate for the dignity of work over welfare, and fight to make the cost of daily living more affordable for our struggling families. Senator Bob Dole used to tell me something that's always stuck with me. He would say, Kansans will show you the way. You just have to listen. Yes. Gotcha. My friends, we need a new governor who follows that advice, who listens to Kansans, all Kansans, and works together with people of goodwill to help the hardworking citizens of this state. Remember this, in the Derek Schmidt K. Sawyer administration, Kansas will move forward to a bright future, not remain stuck in the stale past. Yes. We will give you our best each and every day because that is what Kansans deserve. We have work to do. During the next
next 98 days of this campaign, we will continue to work tirelessly to earn the support of every Kansan, in every community, in every county in this state. Our citizens want and deserve effective common sense leadership that is guided by Kansas conservative values. With the primary election behind us, it's time for Republicans to come together behind our nominees and reject the big government liberalism that binds yes. Joe Biden to Laura Kelly. Yes. Biden's bailouts are what's propping up Kelly's unsustainable re-election spending spree. But the truth is this, young people and retirees are leaving our state. More than 20,000 fewer Kansans are working here today than the day this governor took office. And Kansas families are struggling with the skyrocketing cost of daily life because of Biden's big government inflation. Kansans know that we can and we must do better. And that's why Katie Sawyer and I are running. We need your help. We're proud to be your nominees. Together we can make this happen. God bless you all. God bless Kansas. And may God continue to bless this United States.